So, let's begin with one simple fact. All of us multitask. We will always be somebody else's employer or employee, father or mother, son or daughter, cousin or friend. But how do we manage? The answer? Work life balance. But there's a problem. We often picture work life balance as an either or model. The more you have of one thing, the less you will have of the other. But does it have to be like this all the time? Can there be a new paradigm of work life balance? Which is not so static? And more dynamic? Well, we say yes. By knowing what matters to you the most in life, be it your family, or your faith, or your friends, and examining and aligning other aspects of your life to support and grow the core of your being, we can all experience maximum self growth and happiness. As a result, we will have a happier, healthier workforce with creative problem solving skills, independent thinking, and a strong sense of belonging. This leads to higher productivity. So, what do we need to enable work life balance? First of all, we need to include everybody in the discussion. Everyone from farmers, construction workers, office workers to homemakers deserves to have work life balance as much as anybody else. Second of all, proper infrastructure that helps people be creative in their journey towards work life balance. For example, we need road networks, water supply, mobile access, public transportation, internet connectivity, education, and healthcare. And third of all, we need to understand and address the various aspects that make up different people's needs for work life balance. For example, farmers need good soil clean water and better access to the markets while construction workers need better safety regulations and insurance. Work-life balance doesn't have to be a struggle or an excuse. Work-life balance should be a vision and an opportunity. Are you in work-life balance? <laughs>